everyone knows that 16 inch crashes are only good for large hi-hats and maybe stacks. So what size is best? What size crash should you be investing in and buying right now? There has to be a size that is the Goldilocks of all crash sizes. The just right, perfect size. In order to have the perfect crash size, it's gotta transcend time and genres. And you know what? There's only one crash size. One crash size that rules them all, and only one that deserves your hard-earned money. But why do 16-inch crash cymbals suck anyways? Because 16s are too small. They're not very versatile. They only fit in, like, older rock, metal, and maybe gospel. They don't fit with any other contemporary music, and definitely don't fit with any contemporary drumming styles. Even most modern metal players aren't really using them, and... In my opinion, if you're really trying to buy a crash cymbal that might grow with you, the 16 is not it. So here's the thing. I have two 16-inch crashes, and I only keep them around to play as hi-hats. And here's why I do that. One, hi-hats are expensive, so at least I have something. And two, one of those 16s I handpicked from the Sabian factory. So I don't really want to get rid of it, even though I don't really use it as a crash. So if not a 16, what size should I be investing in? The only answer I have for you is an 18, and here's why. 18s. Whoa, that's too close. 18s are the perfect size if you have one crash and one ride, and they are small enough to be a left side crash, as well as so easily paired with bigger and smaller cymbals. They fit perfectly in with contemporary drumming styles as well as still being able to fit in with styles of the past. They transcend all genres. They fit in with anything. Now, why are we talking about this? Why does one crash suck and why is one a Goldilocks? I'm trying to help you make a good investment in your next crash cymbal. Whether you're a newer drummer who wants to update their cymbal sounds or you're a drummer that's been drumming for a while, but you're trying to have a new sound in your lineup, something that works with everything. Please don't hear me say that if you have a 16 inch crash or you're planning on getting one, that you should just get two and make it a hi-hat or just throw it out or forget about it because that's not what I'm trying to say. 16s don't actually suck. They're not literally the worst symbol ever. What I am trying to say is that Maybe an 18-inch crash cymbal is the best investment for you long-term. 